Hello everyone. We will move on to our next or one of the most important topic of PDF forms or Adobe forms. Our next topic is how to call our PDF form or Adobe form from the program or the topic we can say how to integrate our PDF form into the program. If you remember, we created the smart form, but ultimately we call the smart form from the program. Same way is here. We have to call the Adobe form or PDF form from the program. Now, if you remember when we call the smart form through the program, at that time we use one function module SSF underscore function underscore module underscore name. Whenever you pass the smart form name to that function module, it returned the function module of the smart form. Same way we have to do here. Whenever you want to call a PDF form from the program, we will make use of three function modules. What are those three function modules? FP underscore job underscore open. FP underscore function underscore module underscore name. And then we have FP underscore job underscore close. Now, what are the purpose of these three function modules? Firstly, what is FP job open? With the help of this function module, we will open the job and whatever the default values we want to pass, we will pass to, through this particular function module only. Now, what is second function module? FP underscore function underscore module underscore name. You can simply compare that it is equal to SSF underscore function underscore module underscore name. There you pass the name of the smart form. Here you will pass the name of your PDF form and it will return the function module of your PDF form or Adobe form. After calling the PDF form, we will simply, simply close the job through the function module FP underscore job underscore close. Once we we'll start with the practical part, you will automatically understand how we are using all these three function modules. So what I will do, we will create a program and in that program, we will call our PDF form using these three function modules. So I will go to SC38 transaction code and we will create a program. Suppose my name of the program is ZPRG calling PDF form. And I will give some serial number. I'll click on to create button. Calling of PDF program. Calling of PDF through program. I choose the type as executable program. I will save this program as a local object. I will take a input in this program. Parameters. Input is sales order number. Type data element of sales order number. I will provide the selection text go to text elements selection text this is your sales order number i will activate now 
we will start with our first function module that is fp underscore job underscore open. So I'll go to pattern fp underscore job underscore open. Now I will declare one variable in front of this parameter. Suppose I am saying ls underscore parameter, lwa underscore parameters. Best practices, you should always, always uncomment the exceptions. We all know the type of LWA parameters is same as that of I and IE underscore output parameters. So we'll simply double click. We'll go to changing tab. I will copy that type and we will declare in our program. Data LWA underscore parameters type this. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Now we will call our Adobe form. We all know every Adobe form or every PDF form also generates a function module. So firstly, we will run our Adobe form. This is our PDF form or Adobe form. I will run this is the function module of the Adobe form. Firstly, we will use this particular function module. I'll go to pattern end. Now you can see when we took the interface which we used in the Adobe form. P underscore VBELN was importing, but here it is coming as exporting. So whatever your input is there, we will pass. Best practices, we will uncomment the exceptions. I will check the syntax and activate. Now we will go for important part. This function module is dynamic in nature. So if we will hard code this function module, this program will work in development, but it might or not not work in quality and production system because this function module generates at runtime. So what is the solution for the same? We will use fp underscore function underscore module underscore name this function module we will use to get the function module of our pdf form so i will use our second function module i will go to pattern fp underscore function underscore module underscore name We'll go for OK. Now we will pass the name of our PDF form, which we created. This is our name of the PDF form. You pass the name of your PDF form and it will return the function module of the PDF form. So I will write lv underscore func name in this particular variable we will get the function module of our adobe form or pdf form the type of lv underscore func name will be same as that of e underscore func name here it is importing it means in the function module it will be exporting E underscore FUNC name is of this type. So I will copy and I will declare in my program. So I will write data LV underscore FUNC name type FUNC. Now, rather than hard coding this particular function module, we need to pass this particular variable.
we will check the syntax and we will activate so what is the summary of this video or what we learned in this video we used first function module fp job open then we used fp function module name to get the function module of our adobe form and with the help of that we will call our adobe form rest part we will continue in the next video thank you